Hey, this is Mike Lindsay from Vital MX. We're down at Race Tech today who have been famous for many, many years of doing their suspension seminars where they bring people in, teach them the ins and outs, how to do it, the entire theory of suspension, basically. Now they're moving into engines. Andrew here has been heading that up for quite a few years in house and he's gonna be the one teaching it. So what am I gonna learn? So we're gonna be going over uh, engine assembly. We're gonna be breaking the engines down. We're gonna be showing everybody why every component in the engine does what it does and why it does what it does and how changing some of these components can really affect how your engine uh, performance is gonna come out. So once you guys have covered just the basics, you know, what each part in the motor is, are you guys gonna talk a little bit about the proper assemblies? Cause I think of the same thing with suspension. There's a way to assemble it and there's a way to assemble it correctly to get the best performance. Yeah, definitely. So we're gonna be going over how to assemble something correctly and we're gonna go as far as showing you how to check piston to valve clearance, piston to wall clearance, uh, we're going to get big into uh, degreeing in cams, uh, how we degree in our cams. It's one of those things where every cam should be degreed when you're assembling an engine and checking all of these clearances because they could be really major and play a big role on how the engine's going to perform. Once you kind of cover some of those assembly items, what about tuning? That's the biggest thing these days. We've got great EC aftermarket ECUs where you have a lot more control of the bikes. You're able to manipulate that power, how it feels, getting the best out of once you've built the, the you know, physical assembly. How much into mapping are you guys gonna do? So it's gonna be an intro to mapping. We're not gonna show you everything that goes into how and why, but we are gonna show you what a good map looks like, what a bad map, map looks like. And we're also gonna be showing you know, kind of the approaches that we take when we are building a map from start to finish. What about the actual cylinder heads themselves? What are kind of the topics we'll cover directly related to the head? Uh, we're going to be going over flow, airspeed, what both of those affect to the power curve uh, and rider feedback. Uh, with that, we're going to be going over valves and valve material. We're going to be covering flat-based valves versus dish valves, steel valves versus uh, titanium valves, uh, the coatings that go on these titanium valves and how once that coating's gone, what happens to the valve and, and the valve seat. Mm -hmm. What about fuel? Because I know a lot of people think of fuel as just like, oh, probably higher octane or more oxygen's better, but I know fuels can also change the way the bike responds, how quickly they burn and things like that, correct? Yeah, so we're gonna be covering fuel as well. Uh, we are gonna be going over octane, uh, too much octane, not enough octane, how it's gonna affect the engine, what that means for you. Uh, and the rider and your engine. And from there, we're also going to get into what makes race fuel a race fuel. And most of the time, it's not all what most people think. Yeah. And then talking bottom end on the engine, what are we going to cover related to the crank? I mean, four strokes, there's a lot going on up top, but what about down below? Yeah, so with four strokes, you know, all the power is made up top, but the solid foundation of a four stroke engine is the crank. Uh, we are going to be going over how to properly measure the run out of a crank and, you know, measuring rod length and what rod length does to the engine, what it does to the piston, uh, how it affects the crank angle or the rod angle. So last thing, I think you guys talk a lot about uh, repeatability as well. So I guess one last thing is you guys probably cover how you guys go about your dynoing process and trying to be able to show the results and how to test your changes properly. Yeah, so we'll be showing, you know, repeatability is everything. Um, most of the time when you're checking all these clearances, uh, when you first start out, you wanna be doing this stuff over and over. Uh, typically, you wanna do everything three times and kind of go over, make sure you're getting the same numbers and then be able to duplicate all those changes on the dyno as well. So teach, uh, how many days and what days are the classes? It's gonna be November 13th and 14th. That falls on a Saturday and Sunday. Uh, it's a due day course. It's gonna be $800 for both days. Sounds like a pretty good way to spend a weekend. And if you want to sign up, make sure you hit the link below this video in the description. It'll take you straight to Racetech's website where you can sign up for this class.